Hi everybody, this is Jen, and I wanted to do a AliExpress haul because I haven't done it in a while. It's a bit of a mix lot, but mostly journaling stuff like this here that I've been um, using on my book journal I've been posting videos on, so I hope you're liking that series. Right now I'm in a guild, the Guild Hunter series by Nalina, Nalini Singh, and I have a couple more that are ready to be done. I wanted to remind everybody that as of Friday, November 18th, the glass mat that I use is going to be uh, available for 25% off. So head over to glassboardstudio.com, use Posh25 for 25% off, and that's like a Black Friday special. Um, but I will tell you that I made a horrible mess out of this glass mat. Um, last week, last weekend, I was building a little miniature thing and I destroyed this mat. I had glue, I had paint, I had everything you can think of on it. And I was in my little design team meeting last night and I just scraped all the glue off of it while I was sitting there. And, um, yeah, it's back to brand new. So this glass mat is great for messy scrappers like myself. Um, so yeah, definitely head on over there. Now let's go into the AliExpress stuff. Okay, so I wanted to start with a couple smaller things. Um, these, this is for my miniatures. And it is a tiny, like, Rascog cart. And I got these from a store called My Panda Cactus Store. Um, and I got four of them. When they have these, they're, they're kits, they come in like this. And if you get these and you want to know how to assemble them, let me know and I'll do one online. But, um, when you buy multiples of something, the shipping for each actually goes down a little bit. So I got four just because I didn't know if I wanted white or black or how many um, rooms I was going to do. And I can always share with a friend. So they have these little removable faux, well, I guess they may be real wood. I think they're real wood pieces and they're like wood grain on the front and then these little I thought that was really cute and great for a little craft room box or maybe even a craft room in a 12 1 12th dollhouse. Let's see how tall they are. So this stands, this is not going to give me inches. <laughs> These stand about three and a half inches tall, which it's probably a little taller than your normal Raska cart, but that's okay. So, but it, you still get the idea, and it would be perfect in a little dollhouse craft room. So that's my panda, my panda cactus store, and I bought four for nine dollars and ninety-four cents. Uh, the next one is not journaling related, so I'll do that. So my daughter is getting married, and next September and I was going to send out the remember or save the dates and I found this really cool idea on Pinterest and I'll put a little picture of what I plan on doing here. But these little keys will go on little tags for save the date. I can even use the wood laser to make little keychains with the save the date on them. So I got 60 of those and a little more expensive than I would typically buy. Um, this looks like a lot more than 60. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it said there was 10 in a package. I'm thinking this is more like 25. There's a lot of keys here. So I'm thinking I just got like 150 keys, and some of them are so cute. I could use that in a miniature. That doesn't have to. So there's some, oh, the big ones I prefer to use with the tags. So I'm going to have to sort these. But yeah, it said 10 per bag, and I'm this is 25 per bag, so there you go. It was called the Fascinating Danger Store. It was supposed to get 60 keys. The total was $18.33 for all of them shipped, but as you see, I got a lot more than 60 keys here, so that is an exciting little find. Okay, so I was putting the keys in the bag, 
put them away and I came across some ex interesting ones and there were 62 keys in that bag not 10 um, so this is going to be perfect for my idea the tag idea for the save the date and then this one is like a mini mouse key so I thought that was really I thought that was really cute uh, this one's Celtic and it also has these hearts on here, so it reminds me of, like, Alice in Wonderland. And then this one did, too, like the Queen of Hearts. That would be cute to put in a little diorama or on a journal. And then I just thought these two were interesting. This one has, like, owl eyes. And that one's another heart. So, yeah, that was that's a great uh, deal. Now I have a lot of keys. And... Uh, probably some to share and they're not all the same because I see some of these big ones are not the same design so lucky me I have got a wonderful deal there and then this one has mostly small ones I don't see a lot of big ones in there so wow what a deal for $18.33 okay we will start with my um, journaling stuff so the rest of this is journaling stuff and their stickers so these are from FWW ERA store the entire package I think I've used two of these the entire package was three dollars and fifteen cents so I'm just going to do a quick flip through of these and I'll try to try and put timestamps in the bottom so if you don't want to see the entire flip through then you can just go to the next store but yeah this is the FWWERA store and I'm not sure how many there were but there are a lot here and they're just really pretty anime girls um, some of them have wings which is why I bought it because I'm the the series that I'm reading has angels and vampires in it and of course they're all beautiful people and these little anime girls remind me of someone who would be like a witch or an angel or a vampire because they're pretty flawless. You got a chibi style one there. And the clothes that they're wearing are unique. Some of them won't go, but most of them will. There's some, like, that one reminds me of, like, a, a superior, like an angel. That one's really cool. This one has horns. So you're going to see several like this, so. But for $3.15, this is a lot of stickers. Okay, there's still more. <laughs> But I thought that some of these would remind me of the book characters. Cute. And there's some, you know, younger book characters and stuff like that, too, that they remind me of. Okay, so that's all I got from the FWERRA store. Now the other ones are kind of bigger, so here we go. Okay, so this one is the J-I-A-N-Q-I store, and this one's a big one. I spent $39.47. Of course, that includes shipping. This, these came pretty fast. Um, the first one I got was this little box set of stickers. They are super cute. Um, looks like three of each. We have some lanterns, some cauldrons some glasses these are like Harry Potter themed of course there's the Fel Felice Fel Felicis there's our Hedwig friend we have the snitch just magnifying glasses inks uh, books and letters so that one's just a cute little find because you know in my book journal I'm gonna have Harry Potter so you must have Harry Potter in your book journal. Okay, so next I got several collections. So 
hopefully this won't take as long as you would think. So I got four of these collections and I'm not going to take them all out. I'm just going to take some of them out to give you the idea. So these three are floral and they're the clearish stickers with the gold foil and this one has these have silver foil so the floral ones with some butterflies and ribbons and stuff are really pretty and I use these for just like base colors and just gives it a little pop so I've got three of the dazzling flowers in three different colors yellow purple and pink and then I got the romantic magic series so these are purple and blue color with silver or hollow and I think this one's upside down. So we have clouds, there's a fish, some planets, and each one of these are... So you can see there is a lot going on here. This is actually each sheet is just one sticker so you peel it all the way off which now that I'm looking at it, that is fine with me because I can't imagine peeling off each one of these. But you can take and cut around if you didn't want all of that on one. Cut it in half, cut it in half that way. But there's some angel wings, some uh, feathers, books, hands, like atomic things. So I thought those were kind of neat. So I grabbed those. And... The next thing I got was these translucent, they call them deco stickers. One of them is perfume bottles and one of them is, um, it says pet, but I don't remember getting anything pet related. So this will be interesting. I'll just give you a quick glance at the perfume bottles here. Just give you an idea. They're just bottles, so just a good little something to have in addition to. They're pretty good size. I keep putting them upside down. It's spelled wrong, but we'll just pretend it's French. That one's kind of neat. Did I show that one yet? And Perfume, lovely soul, and then that one. Okay, so there is those perfume bottles. And then let's look at the one that says pet because to the best of my knowledge, precious memory. And it's just a bottle. That's a little dome. This one says wonderful. Like wind. And there's two of each. 1860 charming fine. Another one of these. Or two of these. This one says have a good life. Collect good which is kind of funny because they're bottles and there's that one so these are kind of neat because you can actually put things behind them and then put this down over top and it'll look like those things are in the bottle so just a little little something now I think the rest is going to go fairly quick because I have I had to get feathers because I didn't have any feathers guys and I'm trying to do all these um book pages about angels and I didn't have any angels or feathers so I got this two-piece silver red wing and that's the only one of that one I got I thought I got more but you can see you have one red and one clear I have these little wing pieces here there are 40 pieces in this one bag so I got red blue orange, yellow, purple, pink, it's like a brown, gray, and a blue. So each one of the angels in this series has uh, very unique wings as part of the 
whole deal when they're explaining things. They're like, oh, she has the best, you know, the most unique wings, blah, blah, blah. So I needed some different color feather stickers, and then I got the larger version of those. These are, you can see how big they are. I have purple, blue, and there's 10 of each of these. Green, there's that brown, gray, orange, red, pink, and yellow. So we have, we now have feathers. We're good. Uh, and the last from that store is, are these, I got several of these Magic Awakening stickers and it doesn't say how many pieces are in each. I'm, I've already opened this one. I'm going to open it again. We'll pull out just this one and then I'll show you the backs of the other ones. Because it says that one, two, three, there's only like five stickers on the back of this. So, oh, they're very large. And they come in this nice, heavy folder. So, yeah, they are pretty large. So, we have key. Looks like two of each. Oops, there's a key. There's a winged key, which is really neat. We have a book with a wand. Another magic book with a wand off to the side here. And that's it. So there's only a few, but they're big, and there's two of each. So that's kind of neat. And they come in these nice little folders. And so this one has cauldrons and a wand and, like, this cool tree. And this one has more bottles and then this is like a tree and a little terrarium these have brooms and candlesticks and owls and there's a this is like a divination one we got some cool hats there's a hat with a cat on it and then some like um crystal balls so i thought those were pretty neat so yeah, that's it for that store, the J-I-A-N-Q-I store, and there's one more store to go, so I'm going to clean this up and get that store out. Okay, so sit back and relax. This one's a long one. This is the Chen Chen Chow store, um, and they sent me this little thank you card, and a freebie. I got a little little holographic number stickers which are cute um, so thanks for that and it's Chen Chen Chow store this store I spent 4301 but you will see I, I got a lot of stuff so um, I got these papers and they are Asian inspired my my books each one is each angel has its own territory and there is a, an angel of India and an angel of um, don't call it China. It was Indonesia and, and it, it's Oriental. And so I thought these would be perfect for the backgrounds of that. And these are just paper. They're not light paper. They're pretty, you know, decent heavyweight paper. They almost feel like, uh, some kind of cloth. They're, 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 they're a heavy paper. So I got those. And that's just like kind of for a background. And then I got these little book pages, which would be really cute for a junk journal. And I may still make part of a junk journal, but I've been in the last ones I've been journaling. I can't see it. In the last ones I've been journaling about uh, the book itself. So these give me a little bit of journaling room. So those are for backgrounds. I uh, also got this, oh, this is the packaging for that. Uh, they say music sheets, but I don't know what that, why it says music sheets, because they're not music sheets. And then I'm pretty sure I've gotten this before. So I think I have like three of these now. This is Harry Potter. And it has vellum, it has more vellum, more vellum, and then it goes into like the cardstock stuff. But lots of neat things, not only can I use them 
in my junk journals and stuff, but some of this stuff I can just like fold up and put in my miniatures. Like this one I can cut out. I can put that on a on a wall, a Weasley wall. Um, this would go, this is a Hogwarts Quidditch. That was a big train ticket. There is our Professor Lockhart. We got some books, some paper. There's a map of uh, the school, which is miniature size. So that's decent. We got some more books, a little letter, dear student, some luggage, and then some big ones that we can use for backgrounds. We have the map, a paper, Another one, the Daily Prophet paper, a big thing of Hogwarts, and then back to the beginning. So there's Dumbledore's army. That's pretty cool. So I got that little bit from Harry Potter there, because I just can't pass up a good Harry Potter deal. And then the last that aren't stickers, and I wasn't sure, I probably thought they were stickers, but it doesn't matter, are these little, they're almost like specimen cards, and they are thicker, so these would be good for junk journals too. So we have the skeleton, the rib cage, the mus, muscu, muscular, a mus, I don't know, muscle thing. There's one of the throat, vascular system and whatever that is. Oh, there's the throat again. So, yep, I thought those were pretty neat. And anything that has to do with skeletons, I'm keeping for this project. We have these I thought were really cool. They are vellum stickers. So you can kind of see through them. I'll show you one that I thought was pretty neat to give you an idea of what they do. Um, like this is a vellum sticker and this is like a blue world so you can kind of see through them so it gives you this really neat look if you put them on the right background so and this one is going to be kind of like this like you can still see in the background we have the music and stuff and maybe this is too busy for some people but I don't mind it so these are of course angels so how could I not get them? And then just some ladies, but very old school knights. These are things that you would find in like the old books in the museums. They even have the, the writing, I can't think of what it's called. It's like the gothic writing on it. There's a knight on a horse. Very nice. I wish I had some stained glass windows with these. There's somebody with a playing a loot or whatever that's called. So that's those. And we have some maps, same vellum stickers. And this comes on a really hefty card or cardboard that also has a map on it. I'm not gonna flip through all of them because they're pretty much all the same, but I'll just point out some different types so there's some smaller ones there's some of the world there's some maps and you know these can be used in again in the miniatures along with like the book journal so you're not just I think these would be really neat in like a discovery or a lab discovery a discovery like um, maybe a scientist or an explorer's office. Yeah, so that one's kind of neat. That one's like astron astron astronomical astronomy. So there's those. And we're going to get into some of the little ones. Now, I'm not going to flip through these. I've got another pack of these. And they're very similar to the ones that I got before but they're a little bit smaller so having size variations is good and I think there's 
probably a lot of the same in here, but there are different. And I also got this pack, which I think is exactly the same as that pack. So, um, yeah, I got duplicates, so we're going to have a lot of people uh, there. And then this is a little bit different. These are people, but they're like busts. So, just flip through a couple of these. I guess there are some people, but they're a little different style. Like, they look more realistic. There's like a bust of somebody looking away. So I think this will bring like a different kind of look to the pages. And these people definitely look like somebody who would be in my little romance novels. Or somebody with an, a bow and arrow. So yeah, very nice artwork on these. And lots of them. There's a lot of pictures here. So it comes with this little teddy bear backing card. I'll set those aside. These were really funny. These are uh, emoji skeletons, and my daughter already took like three of them, so she took she took some of the funnier ones. And I'll just show you some of them. So if you have a planner and you like emojis, then I would just definitely like check these out. Like he's he's sad, he's crying, um, he's waking up. He's taking a bath, he's having a beer, and in this one he's angry. But yeah, so little skeleton emojis, really cute. I don't know if they'd be great for my book journal, but I'm sure I can find somewhere to stick them, and at least it'll make me laugh. I have this huge, huge pile of art die cuts. There are so many here, I can't even begin to show you, but they are just die cuts of art. There's some Da Vinci, there's some Pontalism, um, like the Last Supper's in here somewhere. There's uh, Venus, or... Is it Venus? I think it's Venus. Statuary but all sorts of different art and it's not just all old stuff I mean they have some pop art in here there's a statue of David with uh, bubblegum I don't know who that is but yeah all this famous art and the reason why I grabbed this is because I thought <laughs> like that one like here's the Mona Lisa what if I grab one of my tiny picture frames and put her in it. I just, you know, I could always print these things out, but if I can get this huge stack of stickers, <laughs> that's cute. If I can get this huge stack of stickers, then why bother doing it myself? I mean, it's, it's, I don't even know that it's any less expensive. And definitely, if you take your time into account for it, it's not, it's not less expensive to do it yourself. So, we have this huge, huge, huge pack of artwork stickers. And then this one's fun. This is just Journal Ephemera. Now, this is thicker. So these are like chipboard pieces. But I got it because of the wings. Now, I don't know if I'm going to stick it in my journal or not because of the thickness, but I mean, how creepy are these chicks? <laughs> they make me laugh. There's so there's all these like scary nuns, and then there's like all these demon wings. So I don't know if we're supposed to like like I don't know if this is a thing <laughs> or not. It seems kind of risque to me but eh, whatever I do like these wings so I hope I can find a way to incorporate them into my journal they're just a little thick for a journal that I don't want to be huge when I'm done but we never know what's going to happen right so there's even some more in there I didn't grab out but those are fun I thought when I seen those I was like well that's the creepiest thing I've ever seen one of the creepiest things I've ever seen anyways 
just a few more here so thanks if you're still here thanks for sticking around um, these are also the thicker and they're not they, these and the ones before it are not uh, stickers they're just thick chipboard so these are I'm not gonna pull them all out but there's some really neat ones in here there's an owl a thimble and these are more steampunky so Yep, all sorts of different ones, and there's a lot in here. I don't know how many, how many, but if you ever need a butter knife, again, these are good for uh, junk journals also. So I can totally see using these in junk journals if I ever get the time to put together another junk journal. Okay, now I just got these sticker sheets. They're all the same, and they will just take a second to flip through. So she is um, pink. It says pink, but uh, I liked her little pink dress, and it reminds me of like a candy striper kind of thing. And these are really put nicely into these sleeves, these plastic sleeves with this tough color matching ombre backing strip so I was like really happy with these I'm like wow they really like outdid themselves on these so I got that one this one and she's got candy and a bunny this one she's also got um, she's got some strawberries and stuff this one is what happened was I will tell you what happened so the story is I started Look the backing card on this. Nice. I started, like, I bought one of these because it has wings. I'll show you this one. This one has wings. This is why I bought it, because it looks like an angel. And there are some younger angels in my book series. And I thought, well, that's just about right. <laughs> and then I got on this. I was like, well, I'm just going to get them all. So I kind of got them all. So I got that. I got the angel. We have that one. That one's like a blue. This one's basically the same thing in purple. She's an angel too. Molita in black. And I thought she was really neat. And there's an angel. This is kind of strange, but whatever. And this is an angel. So yeah, I started with the angels. And then I just got kind of carried away and grabbed the rest of them too. But I'm not... I don't regret my decisions. I like them. I like them all. So yeah, that is my haul. So if you haven't visited AliExpress yet, I would I would totally recommend visiting AliExpress. If I bought these in the U.S., they would be much more expensive. And I do support small businesses, but I do not support the small businesses when they're buying stuff from AliExpress and then selling it to me at a markup. I know that's a thing, but if I can just buy direct, I buy direct. So, um, because I want to save my money just as much as somebody else wants to make a profit. Uh, I try and stay away from every the things that are copyrighted that are made in the United States. Like they have fake Lavinia stamps. I try and stay away from those. Uh, I've not bought any fake Lavinia stamps. They are the quality makes a difference. So anyways, that's my AliExpress haul. Head on over there. And then again, the glass mat here uh, is going to be 25% off from November 18th to November 29th. And you can use Posh 25, I'll put that right here, at glassboardstudio.com for Black Friday. So head on over there and do that. And we will see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.